Welcome back, Hack Pack, to the Mark Janard Show, your home for hacking news and education. In this video, I'm going to talk about how hackers are using cunning ways to carry out cyber attacks via AI. First, we have reconnaissance. Machine learning can be used for reconnaissance so that attackers can look at their target traffic patterns, defenses, and potential vulnerabilities. This isn't an easy thing to do, so it's not likely to be something that the average cyber criminal would engage in. You do need some skill sets to use AI, says... Uh, this individual so i believe that it would be at adv uh, be advanced state actors who will use these techniques however if at some point the technology is commercialized and provided as a service through the criminal underground then it might become more widely accessible it could also happen if a nation state threat actor developed a particular toolkit that used machine learning and released it to the criminal community uh, says another individual but the cyber criminals would still need some understanding of what the machine learning app was doing and how to harness it effectively which creates a barrier to entry next we have ai poisoning an attacker can trick a machine learning model by feeding it new information the adversary manipulates the training data set says this individual who's a senior research associate at global risk institute for example, they intentionally bias it and the machine learns the wrong way. For example, a hijacked user account can log into a system every day at 2 a.m. to do innocuous work, making the system think that there's nothing suspicious about working at 2 a.m. and reduce the security hoops the user has to jump through. Next, we have autonomous agents. If an enterprise notices that it's under attack and shuts off internet access to affected systems, then malware might not be able to connect back to the, its command and control servers for instructions. Attackers might want to come up with an intelligent model that will stay even if they can't directly control it for longer persistence, says this individual. But for regular cyber crime, I believe that wouldn't be super important. Next, we have better phishing emails. Attackers aren't just using machine learning security tools to test if their uh, messages can get past spam filters. They're also using machine learning to create those emails in the first place, says Adam. Uh, who is an EY partner uh, at Technology Consulting. They're advertising the sale of these services on criminal forums. They're using them to generate better phishing emails, to generate fake personas to drive fraud campaigns. Machine learning allows attackers to customize the phishing emails in creative ways so that they do not show up bulk emails and are optimized to trigger engagement and clicks. They do not stop at just the text uh, of the email. AI can be used to generate realistic looking photos, social media profiles, and other materials to make the communication seem as legitimate as possible. Next, we have better password guessing. Criminals are also using machine learning to get better at guessing passwords, says Malone. We've seen evidence of that based on the frequency and success rates of password guessing engines, he says. Criminals are building better dictionaries and uh, um, to hack stolen hashes. Uh, they also use machine learning to identify security controls, Malone says, so they can make fewer attempts and guess better passwords and increase the chances that they've successfully gained access to a system. So, uh, those are the ways that hackers are using AI to carry out cyber attacks. Did I miss anything? Do you have uh, a better uh, a better reason? Please let me know in the comment section below. I love you. Uh, please hit the notification bell. Please hit the subscribe button. See you on the next video.